are listening to the She Is podcast by Refuge City Church. We are here for a Bible-based conversation about who you are in Christ. Hello, hello. Hello. Good morning to all and uh, good afternoon too. I don't know. And evening. And evening, Maybe. Yeah. Yep. Right. <laughs> yep. Whatever uh, time of day it is. Right. Right. It's good. Well, and we did, um, and I swore that I was not going to remember this fun fact that we learned, but um, we are, we have wonderful, beautiful, inspiring listeners all over. All over, um, yes. Which is so amazing. And I said that I wasn't going to remember that because it kind of, it's comfortable knowing that there's only us in the room. <laughs> um, right. But so, yes, it could be today, tomorrow, next year, Tuesday, Wednesday, mm-hmm. midnight, or mm-hmm. morning. So, hello, all. And yes. wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, Amanda is uh, alluding to, we got some um, mm-hmm. facts from mm. our, um, it was like a re- end of year review from 2022 yeah. and mm-hmm. actually saw that we reached t- 22 countries yeah, that is in so 22. Exciting. Hey, how about Woo-hoo. that? Anyway, yeah, yeah pretty like mind mind blowing. Right. Yeah. So Right. Yeah. We want to welcome you all. <laughs> yes, it is so exciting. And so um we have some fun stuff prepared. So Miss Jamie is going to be bringing the word today. Um the message is um she is I was gonna say are you, but she <laughs> is however you prefer a follower of Christ. Oh. Um and really kind of encourage us and push us a little bit so that we can dig a little deeper. So Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for that. But we have fun stuff first. Funsies. Always got to start with fun. Right. Right. Um, Well, I mean, there's fun sprinkled throughout, but Mm -hmm. we'll proclaim that it's fun and then (laughs) then we'll move on. (laughs) Well, because being a follower of Christ is fun. It It is fun. Yeah, I will. I will say as a little precursor, this is kind of a this is a a, a meaty one today. Ooh, it, yeah, yes, this I'm is excited. like not a not just a, a a spoon or a fork meal. It's kind of like a fork and steak knife meal today. Ooh. So oh, that's so good. So yeah, it's we're going to get some nourishment today. Yeah, that's I good. Hope, I hope so. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's so if you're still listening, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a little fun, and we're gonna have dessert, and then we're gonna have our meal. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Either way, we're gonna have fun. So today, I was looking through some things, and I'm not always good at funsy things, but I was looking through this, and it made me chuckle. So admit you've done one of these. So number one, walked into a room, forgot what you needed, walked out, and then remembered. Yes, um, but speaking of remembering, so I think that it's important that we say that. So um, Hannah and Nicole are oh. with. <laughs> speaking of doing things and then not remembering, so um, I just so if it, it if the conversation is is isn't feeling as full or re- right. robust because there's not five people at a mic. Mm. Um, mm. No, we don't share a mic. There's not five people at five mics. Um, there's only three of us. Right. Well. See, and this is what confounds me. Why do people listen <laughs> to me? <laughs> so, because you're relatable. <laughs> <laughs> so, speaking of forgetting We're things real. and then remembering, in the intro, I really was going to say, Hi, Hannah. Hi, Nicole. I'm glad you're going to be able to listen to this later, but sorry you're not with us right now at the moment, but you're still healthy <laughs> and fine. Okay. Sorry. Back to funsies. Yes, I have forgotten things. <laughs> well, and how many of you have had to. Do you okay? So sometimes I've walked backwards. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I haven't done that one <laughs> to like retrace your steps. <laughs> Literally, okay. can yes. I tell you, uh, Pastor? I think Pastor Pat told me this, and I think she said, you know, you got to give credit where credit is due. I think she said this is from Bill Cosby. <laughs> but I could be wrong. But, you know, how that happens a lot mm-hmm. where you'll walk into a room, forget what you went there for, and then you have to go back to where you were when you first thought of what you were going right. to do. Mm-hmm. And so um, you you go, you know, typically would go back sitting in your chair and then <laughs> and then it would come to you. And so um, to save time, <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> you just put your hands on your bottom. <laughs> Like you were it's sitting like down, you're in the chair. <laughs> and and that should jog your memory. 
I don't. I, God bless the minds that work that way. I don't think mine does. Because <laughs> then I'd be like, wait, why? Wow, this is interesting. Why am I doing this? And then I'm like, why am I doing this? All sorts of other thoughts. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, how about we move on to number two? <laughs> Only if it's as fun as number one. <laughs> when you were younger... Drew the sun in the corner of your paper. Oh, of course. Absolutely. That's where it lives. The yeah. sun was never a full circle. <laughs> yeah. It was always yeah. whatever fit in the corner. And but then, then you do rays. the little, yeah, the yes, little lines the little coming line. out. And if you were extra fancy, you you had like a long line and a short line, and then oh, a long right. line and a short. And then if you were really, really <laughs> fancy, you got out. Your, oh, she. Not I. I didn't do squiggles. Oh, oh. my son was always dying. Oh, so yeah, I had mine was squiggles. had the straight lines. Oh. I think that tells a lot about uh. our personalities. <laughs> <laughs> but but I would be like, ooh, I'm gonna use yellow and orange. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But always like evenly spaced. Did any of you? <laughs> did any of you? <laughs> did any of you draw a face on your son? No. How about if you drew your <clears throat> moon? I don't. Whoever drew a moon, nothing happens at night. I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever ever drawn a moon. Oh, I draw a moon and I put his little face on there. What? Big smile. Really? Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Okay, number three. <laughs> <laughs> Learn something every day, even that you didn't ask for. <laughs> when you were little, thought that the shape of a real heart was actually, you know, how we draw a heart. Yes. Yes, I think I was in school and I learned that that was not true. And I was mm-hmm. like, but why? But really? Why wouldn't a heart be shaped like a heart? Right. <laughs> well, I'm going then, either way. Like, why don't we just draw an anatomically correct <laughs> heart every time? <laughs> I heart you. It's like a heart. <laughs> right? Right. Well, yeah. so the drawing of it, I don't, I don't know. I didn't draw. I didn't, I didn't make that. I don't. I don't care. But so the, um, <laughs> but. I'm not sure what you were trying to say. Meaning like, I guess I didn't, I don't care if they match. My heart has, my heart looks that way. So anyway, not it's not anatomically correct and that's okay. Um, but have you ever, like when you go to um, put your hand over your heart. So it's always on the, so me, I always put my hand over the, what side is that? Left, left. side of my chest, like over close to my arm. Oh. Well, and then I learned, no, the heart's like smack dab in yeah. your... Yeah, but it leans that way. Oh, <laughs> I see, I didn't know that. Oh, we're going to have people that, we're going to have medical people that are going to be like, you guys are so wrong. Sorry. Oh, please, tell us, right. tell us. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to know. Right. Because when I figured that out, I was like, well, then why do we do this when it should be this? <laughs> Put your hand over your heart. Like this. <laughs> First, let's locate the heart. See, that's the point I can't find. <laughs> Check my pulse. <laughs> well, then my question was, well, then how did we get this drawing of this shape of a heart? Anyway, my analytical mind. Yeah, anyway. that's your homework for this afternoon. <laughs> right. I don't want homework. Okay. <laughs> You're you're excused then. Um, Number four. How many of you have closed the fridge door really slow to see when the lights go off? (laughs) Yes. I raised my hand to that one. Yes. 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 It's the same thing as like you put something in the microwave and you're like trying to wait and see if you can make it from the one to the beep. But like the one disappears, but you open the door before it beeps. Oh. I've not done that. I have not, done, not that. done that. I spend my life wisely doing <laughs> lots of really well, wow, worthy things. Well worthy. <laughs> I'm so, Sorry, Nicole. I'm that's so probably fun. not a word. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, okay. okay. Number five, the last <laughs> one. <laughs> Try to balance the light switch between the on and off. Yes. Yeah. Yes and no, but it scares me because if it's balanced, then what's happening? Is my house going to go kapooey or what? <laughs> Valid question. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't done this, you know, since I was a child. <laughs> and that didn't cross my mind. Since before you were paying homeowners insurance? <laughs> See, that's the problem. So I'm like, wow. My dedu- what, is it? what is my deductible? What would I have to pay? Uh, never mind. Don't balance that. Don't balance that switch, please. <laughs> Oh man! Oh golly! I don't know. Anyway, just asking. 
you know. Just wanted to know. Inquiring minds. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's rebirth some of the fears I had from childhood. So, <laughs> all right, moving along. So, moving um, along. I'm going to go ahead and pray. Okay over us so that we can really get into this. I'm excited. I'm excited mm-hmm. to have my, mm-hmm. my steak knife out. Actually, just <laughs> yesterday, um, I was having a conversation with someone and I, um, with the context, they were like, oh, well, yeah, I think the Lord, put, you know, opened up this opportunity and was like, okay, so are you going to, are you going to jump or are you not going to jump kind of a thing? And I said, wow, I think you're moving past milk. You're, you're moving in. Oh, you're, you know, we are not yeah. supposed to just stay living on milk. And so I love that you said that because that little nugget was in my brain from a conversation from yesterday. So nice. Anyway. All right. So good. Now to pray. So thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for our amazing listeners. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to do this. It helps me personally to grow so much. And I know that Lord, you are getting all of the glory. You've put all of this together. You've knit it all together. Um, You've laid these words into our heart. You have us chewing on it throughout the week, and then you have us bringing it before you and others so that we can continue that conversation about you and how good you are and your great plan. And I love that you are pushing us just Mm -hmm. a little at a time. We're not completely uncomfortable (laughs) yet. (laughs) So, um, Lord, I just pray that you help to open our... um, our ears and our eyes and our mind and our heart to everything that you have for us today, because I know that it is going to be amazing. So thank you, Lord, for today, and may you get all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. So yes, we are going to talk about being a follower of Christ Mm. today. And so I just want to start off with asking you ladies what you think it means to be or what, what do you see that it means to be a follower of Jesus? So <laughs> long pause. Um, <laughs> I think being a follower of Jesus. So I think that why you just hit with the whammy first thing. I mean, well, because it's just so in depth. I really think that <laughs> if we're diving in mu- today, right. And I love that because it's multiple things. Are mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. are you, modeling Christ? Are you, right. are you looking like Jesus on earth? Like, are, are you modeling that? Um, mm-hmm. because I feel like to follow him, you have to model him. Um, but then also, are you, are you following his commands? Are you doing what he's asked you to do? Um, mm-hmm. and I know that's not even a complete answer, but that's some of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's good. Well, and that's what I was thinking. Am I doing what he has instructed me to do in the way he wants me to do it, not in the way that I think I should do it? Uh, and so to me, a follower of Christ would be somebody that gets to know him. I want to know him. I want to know why he did the things that he did. Because if I'm going to follow that, my analytical mind wants to know why we do it that way. And the only way I'm going to know that is by getting in his word and having that relationship. So Mm, that's good. That's good. Yeah. It's just, um, yeah, I just want to start off with that question. And, um, as I was kind of preparing for this and looking up different things, it's, it's funny to me how many times Jesus just told people to follow him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and then just people did it. Yeah. He's just (laughs) said, follow me. Mm -hmm. And, and they did. So let's, let's look at a couple of those examples. Um, The first one um, we want to look at is Matthew 4, 18 through 22. It says, and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen. Then he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, on the boat with Zebedee their father, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. (laughs) Right. You know? Right. No hesitation. They just... Oh, okay. I'm out. Well, well, and even, so follow me and I will make you fishers of men. What does that look like? <laughs> what they is were going to find out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what that means, but 
okay, Love let's it. do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then just a few other quick ones. Uh, John one forty three. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, follow me. Okay. <laughs> and then Matthew 9, 9, as Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax office. <laughs> mm-hmm. He said to him, follow me. So he arose and followed him. And uh, I, I mean, this is very literal. They yeah. are. He, yeah. he is walking along and he says, follow me. And they just, they they just do. <laughs> right. They just right. literally walk with him wherever he's going. There's no question. There's no, oh, well, where are we going? Or how long are we going to be gone? Oh, let me go let my family know. Yeah. They just got up and left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I love that there's a... Phys- I am so sorry. I'm, fr- I'm throwing <laughs> She's things. talking with her okay. hands. <laughs> sorry, I do, but I'm not... I don't usually have anything close to me. Um, but no, it's a physical... They physically yeah. followed him before they ever partnered with him and spiritually right. followed him. And right. I think that, that that speaks volumes. You you have to get up and go before you mm-hmm. get up and go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get up and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, so my next question, and you guys don't have to answer this. Well, I mean, we can talk about <laughs> it for sure. Um, but what does it cost to follow Jesus? Mm. And I see that kind of in, in the first scripture that we read yeah. there about... Um, the two sets of brothers leaving mm-hmm. their business behind mm-hmm. and their way of life behind and just dropping what they were doing and immediately following Jesus. Yeah. Um, they, I don't know if they knew who he was at that point. I don't know what right. prompted them right. to, to know that they could, could trust him mm-hmm. or if they had any intention of coming back you know, the mm-hmm. follow right. me, like, okay, I'll hang out with you for the day and then I'll right. be right back. Like, we don't, we don't really know what yeah. the intentions were there, right. but they, it, it cost them whatever they gave up to follow him, right? Mm-hmm. We can't, I guess, I guess getting a little deeper into what it means to follow Jesus, we can't go where he's going and go where we <laughs> intended to go at the same time. Right. I, and I think right. we can, it's really easy to say that we follow Jesus, but mm-hmm. if he's going over here and I'm going <laughs> over there, I'm not following him mm-hmm. because he's going, say he's going north and I'm, <laughs> right. I'm going west. Right. Like I'm with you, Jesus. No, you're not. You're going some, you are literally somewhere else. Mm-hmm. So You're going the wrong direction. Yeah. And and so I think following him is is more than just acknowledging who he is or recognizing mm. that he's Jesus, the Son mm-hmm. of God. Um, it actually means we are putting aside what we had intended mm. to happen, you know, mm-hmm. for our futures or, you know, our livelihood, any mm-hmm. of those things, and we just trust and go where he's going. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, and I think, sorry, I, I was Go looking up a it, scripture because, mm-hmm. um, well, but then I wanted to double check that you didn't have it already, but because it's also in Matthew. And so that it reminds me of in Matthew 10, um, whoever finds his life will lose it. Mm-hmm. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Mm-hmm. And it's that you've got to leave it. You have to leave it all, be- all behind. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just think it's so interesting because did they... Oh, add it to the list of questions for heaven. Uh, But like, (laughs) did they have that Holy Spirit just Mm. tugging at them before they even do? I mean, there's so many questions. I'm always perplexed by the idea of like, did they have the Holy Spirit before they had the Holy Spirit? Mm. Any, any, that's a, that's a podcast for I don't for think another. so. Well, because at the end of his life, Jesus breathed on them and said, yes. receive the Holy Spirit. Right. So right. they, Jesus held, you know, he was yeah. the body for the Holy right. Spirit at that time. Right. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Right. And so then it's like, did they, did they right. genuinely just, I don't know, because then we're also created in God's image. So did they just see Jesus and go, that's my guy. That's me. That's that's my soulmate, mm-hmm. and just in that mm-hmm. bring the comfort to. It. Yep, sure, whatever. I'll mm-hmm. come back to fishing eventually. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Because it doesn't say again. You know, a day, an hour, mm-hmm. a, a lifetime. I mean, mm-hmm. you know. So 
I, I would like to know what was the thought processes in that, especially when in that time frame, they didn't have a lot of options. It's not like now, okay, well, I've got my job. Well, I'll leave my job and I'll always find another one. The culture wasn't that way, right? I mean, so to walk away from a livelihood, the only one that you've known, that speaks of a trust that I don't know that we really have today, maybe. Yeah. Right. Well, because then you even have Zebedee sitting there right. on the boat going, okay, bye, guys. <laughs> bye, right. son. Thanks, I'll Jesus. See you at- <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So many layers. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. There's a, I mean, there is right. a cost. I think that's, that, <laughs> there's a cost. There is a cost. Definitely. Because everything. Yeah. And sometimes you don't even know what that cost is until you've already paid it. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's the, the same thing with, you know, I can't go his way and my way at mm-hmm. the same time mm-hmm. unless they're the same. Right. Right. Um, you know, something that we talk a, a lot about, um, Jim and I, is the opportunity cost. Mm, mm-hmm. for something, right? If you, you can't necessarily do two things. If I have $20, I can't buy everything that costs $20 with it. I can only buy one of those things. <laughs> right. Or maybe two, like $10 things right. or something, you know, but it's <laughs> right. like you, you get something at the expense of something else mm-hmm. because I got these candy bars. I can't <laughs> get, you know, that pair of socks or whatever. Right. Right. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it, you're, you're trading something for mm. s- something. You can't mm. have both. Mm-hmm. That remind. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You have so much of a message and that's, I, but <laughs> this, it reminds me, right. It reminds me of, I was told once like scheduling or, or just bringing anything into your life. You have to lose something to gain something. Mm. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, that's not, that's not accurate. And then the Lord was like, yeah, that is in anything. If you're going to pick up a hobby, you have to lose something else because you can't have it all. You can't fit it all. If you're going to have an addition to your lifestyle, mm. something else is going to have to leave because you yeah. don't have room for it all. So, right. yeah, I mean, something has to die for something to be born. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> exactly. Man, and you've just gotten started. <laughs> wow. So yeah, let's read um let's read Matthew eight, eighteen through twenty-two. It says, And when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave a command to depart to the other side. Then a certain scribe came and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Mm. Then another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. Mm. But Jesus said to him, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, man. So, golly. Yeah, Jesus is explaining the cost. If if right. you want to go where I'm going right now, mm-hmm. this is what it's going to look like for you. Mm-hmm. I, I, is that a cost that you're willing to pay? Right. <sighs> well, and I think that that speaks to, you know, growing up, we all have an idea of what our life is going to be. And these are my plans. And I'm going to go to school here. And I'm going to get a job here. And all those things. But... But is that what the Lord has? And so just like that, you know, he's like, well, I got to go bury my father. And the Lord's like, let the dead bury the dead. I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's kind of harsh, really. (laughs) Well, and something in this, there is a cultural aspect to this. There is. I think, yeah, a lot of people might not understand. I don't understand it fully. I'll, I'll share what, what I Mm -hmm. know, um, is that it? It doesn't necessarily mean his dad had just passed away. Right. Um, they had a process of you know the when someone would pass away, they would be um, put into a tomb for the, for the body to decompose, mm. and then once every you know all the all, <laughs> all the flesh is gone mm-hmm. and they they are there's bones left, mm-hmm. then they would gather the bones and bury them. Yes. So I don't. I don't know off the top of my head how long this process is, but I mean, it, it wasn't like it just happened last right. week or yesterday mm-hmm. or right. anything. Right. Um, so this was something that, um, you know, obviously he's probably still mourning a loss, but he's like, I've got a thing to do. 
Mm-hmm. Right? I have this tradition to keep. Mm-hmm. Ah, they're right there. <laughs> I have a tradition to keep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, and I think it also, it, um, it sets up that, that pecking order of mm-hmm. relationships. Is your right. relationship with your father on earth more mm. of a priority than your relationship with your father in heaven? And that's, that, that, that's going deep. That's a, that's me. I'm, I don't mean to add to scripture, but for me, that's kind of what that looks like is that are you, that, that will take care of itself. Mm-hmm. Are you willing to put in the time to take care of the relationship with me and you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When he, he said, I, I, I'll follow you wherever he, mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy verbally said, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll go, I'll go with you. Mm-hmm. But first, mm-hmm. but first, yeah, that's not following. <laughs> that's making Jesus wait for you. Ooh. Right. <laughs> right. But he's, Jesus right. has his plans and he's about his father's business. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I said this, this, this is, yeah. this is deep today. So, good. so um, good. Yeah. but I just, I, you know, I want us to be encouraged by this, but mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. let's, let's internalize it. Let's mm-hmm. look at ourselves and. And see, you know, let's Mm -hmm. look deep. Mm -hmm. Let's get under the microscope and... Yeah, be real about this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, John uh, 12, 25 and 26 says, He who loves his life will lose it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. This is, I think... I'm sorry. I guess I did. No, that's okay. You know, there were multiple (laughs) disciples sharing the same words of Jesus. But but he goes somewhere else with this that I want to talk about. Um, It says, If anyone serves me, let him follow me. Mm -hmm. And where I am, there my servant will be also. Mm -hmm. If anyone serves me, him, my father will honor. Mm. And it's talking about yeah. following Jesus here. And I, I love that, you know, once again, if anyone serves me, let him follow me. And where I am there, my servant will be also. Meaning when Jesus is ready to mm. put us to task on anything, mm-hmm. we're right there on his mm. heels. Mm-hmm that where I am there, my servant will be also. I mean, yeah. we aren't going yeah. to serve him very well if he's up North and we are in the West. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. He, he'll be right. like, yeah, yeah, we'll be doing the same thing. Oh, first, let me do this. Let me do uh-huh. this. He's like, well, you're not really following me then, are you? Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the opportunities that he's created, mm-hmm. you need to be in lockstep with him Or just like you said, I mean, you're going to go to the, you're at the grocery store and he's at the gas station and he's like, I have a person for you here. Sure. Check out your milk and meet me here, please. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But if we're following him, Mm. we'll be with him every step of the way. Mm -hmm. And if anyone serves me, let him, him, my father will honor. So it's like, God will. God will take care of you. And I think that's the hardest thing is knowing if I let go of these Mm. things that I want to do and things that I feel need to be done, you know, bury my father. That's something right. That we would think needs to be done. Right. Um, Letting go of those things and just trusting God. That's, that's a big step. Mm -hmm. That's, Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about walking by faith. That's faith. (laughs) It's just trusting right. that, you know, God God knows what you're giving up, but he's going to take care of everything that you need. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, because burying the father, I mean, he already had a plan. And, I, you know, sometimes I think, well, if I don't do this, who's going to do this? Forgetting that the Lord already has a plan. Mm-hmm. And it will work itself out. I, I've been reminded of myself lately of this will work itself out. Am I trusting the one who created the plan so that it can work itself out instead of me just doing, well, I have to do this. Just like, just like you're reading, well, mm-hmm. I have to do this. And he's like, well, no, not necessarily. Yeah. If you will do this, that will take care of itself. Yeah. When we, we get such, I mean, we get locked onto things, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? That, uh-huh. And God has the big picture. Right. Yeah. Right. I love, we were doing a study on, on Wednesday I night. Just the same thing. <laughs> yes. And uh, talking about God's view versus mm-hmm. our view. It's yeah. kind of like a parade. And yeah. we are, you know, if we're viewing the parade, we can only see one float at a time. Mm-hmm. And when it's gone by, it's it's passed. But, mm-hmm. but God is watching from 
up above, you know, just a picture, but he right. sees it all happening at once. Like mm-hmm. he's got he's oh, got yeah. the view and that's when we are when we put in our input like yeah. but god this needs to happen he's like right. i can see a little better than you can honey <laughs> right right <laughs> just trust me yes so yes. yeah anyway gosh yes so um lastly i want to jump into john chapter six um really i would encourage you guys to read the entire chapter. So good. There's so much here. I'm not going to read it all, but I will kind of summarize um, the different bits. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, it's a jam packed (laughs) chapter. There's, yeah, there's a lot going on. And honestly, um, it doesn't have a pretty ending. (laughs) (laughs) Right. It's, I mean, we'll, we'll get into it. Um, and it, yeah, I, I can, what we're here for guys, when we started this <laughs> podcast, right, we were like, mm-hmm. let's ask the tough questions. Mm-hmm. Let's yes. just talk about it. Cause mm-hmm. there's a lot in the mm-hmm. Bible that, you know, I'm not speaking a sermon today. This mm-hmm. isn't one sided. There's a lot that's unanswered and there's a lot right. that is still going to be unanswered mm-hmm. when, when we're done speaking today, mm-hmm. but let's. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, and that's that's really why there's, you know, a group of yeah. us here mm-hmm. discussing because mm-hmm. we wanted to talk about, yes. about it. So, um, yeah, uh, John chapter 6. Let me rearrange my items here. Um, so... Uh, yeah, it starts off and Jesus feeds the 5,000, mm-hmm. right? He's yeah. just done awesome stuff. That's the five <laughs> five loaves. Actually, my, my, my Bible says that it was five small loaves and two <laughs> small fish that fed 5,000 people. So that's that's where it starts. Yes. And then and then Jesus walks on the water. And Yay. then. And then. <laughs> just like, and then. Right. And then right. the people followed Jesus, right? We're talking about mm-hmm. following. Yes. Jesus had this huge miracle of feeding them. He did. And then he he wanted a little <laughs> me time. <laughs> right. So he he went off right. on his own and that's why the disciples took off in the boat where they were going to go mm-hmm. and then Jesus caught up with them on foot. <laughs> on the water. <laughs> on the water. <laughs> because that's Jesus. Um, and then when they get to the other side, um, the people, you know, they were following, trying to figure out where Jesus was. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he made food appear basically out of thin air. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. This is the guy with the food. It says they were they were wanting to make him king forcibly. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Based yes. off of nothing besides right. this miracle. <laughs> He'll keep us right. fed. Right. right. Yeah. Right. I'm like, I don't know what he spoke that day that he <laughs> fed them, but right. they were after the food. Yep. And so they caught back up with him. They're like, Jesus, when did you get here? What's going on? And, um, sorry. <laughs> I'm a mess. All my stuff. Okay. We have a I'm little like, table I'm like, here. my Bible isn't laying flat. It's bothering me. Okay. Um, so yeah, the people, they find Jesus. They're like, Hey, you got some more of that food, <laughs> right? You know? And, um, and he, so they start talking about food and, and, um, in verse 28, they asked him, what must we do to do the works God requires? Mm. Jesus answered, the work of God is this, right? It's like, get your pen and paper. Right. <laughs> this right. is, Here you, you know, go. God wants us to, to believe in the one he has sent. So Jesus <laughs> at this point has all these followers and yeah. they're asking, how can we please God? Believe in me. Right. Mm-hmm. Believe. Right. And right. so then they asked him, what, what sign will you give? How are we going to mm-hmm. give us a sign? It's like, you right. just fed them. Right. Okay. Right. So they, they want more. <laughs> right. And they're like, our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness. And, uh, and Jesus says, you know, okay, <laughs> it wasn't Moses that fed them. It was their father in heaven. Mm-hmm. And uh, verse 33, the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And they said, 
always give us this bread. Mm-hmm. They're like, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think they're relating with their ancestors. Like, uh, they they ate uh, supernaturally, yeah. and we did, and we want to keep receiving that bread from heaven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. Jesus says... I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never go thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me and still do not believe. Right. Ugh. They right. they were they were just after the bread, and and he says, "That's me. Mm-hmm. That I am the bread you're looking mm-hmm. for." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's right. re- it's really really tough, and. And they're they're starting to get a little upset with his mm-hmm. words because he's talking about being the son of God, mm-hmm. and they're like, no, "This isn't the son of God." We know his parents. We knew where he grew up. <laughs> this right. is just right. a dude, and now we are asking about food, and he's talking about being God's son, and right. this is getting a little wacky. Mm-hmm. And and he says, "Stop grumbling." This is verse forty three. Stop grumbling among yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. And and they're still. Conti- I think they're, they're just continually just kind of he's yep. losing them. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, yep. And and then he goes further. Mm-hmm. And and he talks about eating his flesh. Mm. He says, "You, uh, I am the bread of life." Verse verse forty eight. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. Yeah. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread that came, oh, sorry, whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which yeah. I will give for the life of the world. And they are like, Jesus. Uh-huh. <sighs> You're going to give us your flesh. What is right. going on? And then he goes mm-hmm. further mm-hmm. and says, um, in verse 56, whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. <sighs> so... I'm thinking Jesus didn't take any evangelism classes. <laughs> because <laughs> right, right. Like he had how many followers? Right. And he is right. just giving them truth after truth right. after truth and right. and yep. they're dwindling and right. they're yep. getting angry. He yep. did not seal the deal mm. with them when he had them all. Right? Because then they would have accepted him on false pretenses. He's saying, you want the bread, here it is. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That is so good. The idea of like... I, it's right. not about the numbers. It's about that that pretense, like you said. Don't buy into something if you're not willing to pay this price. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so good. Because this is truth. This is truth. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, if he would have stopped, like you said, well, let me just hook him right here. But then where's the, where's the truth in that? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I've hooked him. Now they're believing, but they don't have the full story. They don't have, like, the Paul Harvey, the rest of the story, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Because that was only part of what he had for them. That wasn't even the really the beginning of what he had for them. Well, and I think that if you just buy into the good, that works when you're on a high, when life right. is good. But right. until, because, uh, sure, right. I, I, I need the bread when I'm hungry, but then what about when I'm not hungry? Mm. I no longer need the bread. And I, and I love that he, he's setting that up and that mm-hmm. you will need me. This is not just a temporary yep. thing. This is, yep. this is a whole it's a whole life journey. It's a whole thing. We'll yep. have a handbook and everything later. It, it's a whole thing, but you've got to be committed to more. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think they were confused. I would be. <laughs> I mean, wait, you want me to eat your flesh? What are you talking about? Yeah, that's that would be really, that really would, difficult. And drink your blood? Excuse yeah. me? Yeah. Right. And so, you know, and sometimes I have to stop because I, I know where this story is going. <laughs> right, right? They didn't. <laughs> they had no idea. They're looking at a man. Just like I'm looking at the two of you sitting here at this table. I'm looking at you. 
And you say, well, you're going to eat my flesh and drink my blood. And I'm going to look at you like, what? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Excuse me? Right. When, when did we make that turn? Right. Because we're not cannibals. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's like I, I, I was talking about like bread. Jesus, where's the, where's the other bread that you gave us before? Yeah. Right. On the other side of the water. Where's that right. bread? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, and I think it brings into question this idea of religion and there that follows the relationship with the Lord. Mm-hmm. See, and I, I think sometimes it, it, it could go either way. Again, that's a n- totally different podcast, but sometimes <laughs> I think that you, you start in on a religion, mm. but without that relationship with the Lord, you don't understand. And you're not, you just like you said, yeah. they, they did not know the end of the story. So mm-hmm. with this, are you willing to be uncomfortable? Are you yeah. willing to do something that makes it not make sense? I mean, because, yeah, I would be sitting there mm-hmm. going, wait, um, wait, this is not the religion, quote unquote religion I was buying into. I'm not going to eat people. That's not, right. I'm, I'm sorry, I think you're the wrong guy. I'll go find the right. other one because right. that's not what my God would do. That's not what my religion would do. Oh. And I, and Gosh, I think that yeah. sometimes we have yeah. to stop and go, but wait, is it though? Are, are you are you being pushed mm. in into this next level? Are you going past the milk? Are you going are you going into the meat now, where it's not just eat the right. the fluffy bread that you put butter on? No, you're being called well, to eat. <laughs> well, and and I, and so now I'm thinking. Sometimes we get caught up in the like like that. Right now, all we're talking about is you want me to eat the flesh and drink your blood, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, okay, but I've just done all of these things. And and many of you have followed Mm. me. Have you ever known me to be that person? (laughs) So then why are you so hung up on this? Mm. instead of understanding what I've been trying to tell you. And I think I get hung up on things and miss the whole picture, which is what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And and then it's, wait a minute, okay, so what what was he telling me before so that I can understand what he's trying to tell me now? Because I'm I'm missing something. So let me stop and and remember what it was he was telling me before because he has shown me many things. He's told me many things. And and again, they didn't have the insight that we have. But at that moment, what if I was one of those people standing there? And what if I had stopped for a minute and said, Okay, hold on. Let's think about this last year. Let's think about this last six months. Let's mm-hmm. think about these things and then think about it as a whole instead of just this one thing that I'm fixated on right now. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so really where we see this um, turn <laughs> <laughs> yes. is uh, the people that followed Jesus, but I, I feel didn't really have that relationship with him to mm-hmm. know, to know his heart behind mm-hmm. the words that he was saying. Um, verse 60, it says on, on hearing it, many of his disciples said, this is a hard teaching who can yeah. accept it. They were feeling it. They were like, yeah. this is really difficult. And then in verse yeah. 66, it says, from this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. His mm-hmm. disciples. Mm-hmm. The ones that said they knew him, mm-hmm. that saw signs and wonders, that saw the miracles, because it was too much. Mm-hmm. So he had a crowd, and he yeah. has dwindled it down by speaking truth. Mm-hmm. And to me, that it's just heartbreaking. Yes. And and this this is the part that gets me is that his 12 disciples, his closest yeah. guys were still there. And mm. he said, you don't want to leave too, do you? Mm. And Peter answers, Lord, to whom shall we go? Yes. Mm. You right. have the words of eternal life. Yeah. 
We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Yeah. He knew that because yeah. he had spent time with him. Mm-hmm. And he was bought in. He said, you know, that time, do you remember that time, <laughs> Jesus, when you right. told me to follow you and right. I dropped my stuff and I did it? I'm mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. Where else would I go? Right. right. And I, I've seen you. I've seen your miracles. Mm-hmm. I've heard your words. Mm-hmm. I've heard your teachings. Mm-hmm. I, you're the one. You are the Holy One of God. Right. I believe mm-hmm. it. And then, yeah. and then, I told you <laughs> this then. doesn't really end well. <laughs> then Jesus replied, have I not chosen you, the 12, yet one of you as a devil? He meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, who through one of the, though one of the 12 was later to betray him. Yeah. And so Jesus had, he still had followers, mm-hmm. much yeah. fewer followers. Yeah. yeah. But still one of those um, that was still following him and believing. I believe Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. Peter spoke for the 12 when he said, we believe you're the son of God. Mm -hmm. Um, Still, Judas believed Jesus and he was still following him out of his own motives. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And so even still, even after the following and after the believing... He could still choose mm-hmm. to turn away Gosh, for right. his own for his own reasons, just to to stop following. Yeah. Really, yeah. because really at the point where he agreed, where Judas agreed to betray Jesus, mm-hmm. that's where he he turned off. You know, Jesus mm-hmm. is on the highway, and Judas takes this exit. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is this is my stop. This is where I stop following you and mm-hmm. do my own thing. Mm-hmm. And it didn't it didn't go very well for him no. at that point. Right. So where do where do we wrap this up? <laughs> I what I could see through this is that God's plan is to turn followers into believers mm. and believers into followers. That's good. And I think we we stay there. We stay on the highway with Jesus through yeah. mm-hmm. believing in who he is and continuing to follow him. Yeah. I love the way you put that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So turning followers into believers and believers into followers. So good. I love that. That is so good. <laughs> yeah. That's we're so gonna quote good. that later. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. It's so good. Yeah. So uh like Jesus said in verse 29 of uh, John 6, I'll go back there where this kind of all started. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the She Is podcast by Refuge City Church. We pray that you have been encouraged and equipped in knowing who you are in Christ. If you are wanting to have a personal relationship with Jesus, pray this with me. Dear Jesus, I know that you love me. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart to stay and help me to hear your voice and grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep in touch between podcasts by finding us on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the show notes. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this podcast to hear more from us every week about who you are in Christ.